Hey guys, so I've been wanting to film this video for a while and I wanted to do more of like a sit down type of more professional type video, but um, I just have not had time. So I'm waiting for my boys and parent pickup line to get them from school. And so I thought I'd go ahead and film this video. I wanted to do a recap of 2017. Um, it's the main purpose is to kind of share with you in our lives and also to have something for us to look back on as some some memories that we can you know keep as a forever memory um, I wrote things down so that's why I'll be looking down because I won't remember most of this is like a chronological kind of thing um, just because um, I took a look back in my planner which is one of the reasons why I love a planner but I took a look back in my planner just to to um, remind myself of the things that went on. We started 2017 off with lots of basketball games. Joel played varsity and JV as a um, ninth grader. Nathan was an eighth grader and he played JV and he'd fill in with varsity some for their school. And I'll also, I'll insert videos when I can insert videos and I will insert picture clips if I can find them to the different um, memories that we have uh, just to kind of make it a little fun. So um, Christopher also played basketball. He played for um, a, it's not a rec league, it's like a Christian rec league almost. Um, so it, it, I should say it's not a public rec league. It's a Christian rec league, and so he played for that. Um, they had a school team that um, was not a technical school team, but it, it had, his classmates were in there with him. Wow, that was long. Then we went to the Senior Bowl of 2017 and the boys got to meet Sam Rogers from Virginia Tech. They were beside themselves so excited and I mean he was very very sweet um, and asked if they wanted to get a picture with them so he, they got a picture with them, he signed their poster that they had made that said Sam Rogers on it and his number and Virginia Tech and stuff which is what got, it, got his attention. So uh, very sweet guy. Um, and um, now he's in the NFL, but I can't remember. I can't remember who he plays for, or if he's in limbo, I'm not sure. Senior Bowl was awesome. We also, for Christmas, got our boys tickets to the Senior Bowl for this year, which will be in a couple of weeks. Um, then we had a drama production. Nathan was in the drama, um, the play at school. And um, it was a Midsummer Night's Dream, and he did great with that. Um, I loved seeing that. All right, um, we as a family went to the Golfarium, which is not in our town, but it's an aquarium that, um, it's a huge aquarium, it's really neat. We had never gone before. Um, one or two of the boys had for a field trip before, but um, we went there, I, that's how I decided to celebrate my 35th birthday. I turned 35 in 2017, and one of my favorite things to do for my birthday is just be with my family. So I was like, you know what? The boys have been wanting to go. I think it would be neat to see. So we went to the golf area for my birthday. Next, we had the Lumberjack Festival. They hold this every year close by. And um, they have divisions for adults. They have divisions for youth. And there's things like cross-cut sawing. There is knife throwing, you know, all sorts of things. They have all these agricultural things and vendors. Um, the boys learned how to spool um, wool into yarn, which was really neat. They made some bird houses and things like that. Well, uh, Joel and one of my nephews were competing together in the cross-cut sawing and won first place in the junior division, um, cutting the log and uh, 
cutting all the way through the log in 6.9 seconds, I think it was. So that was really cool. And Nathan came in second. He met a boy there and they decided, hmm, we might as well try it. So Nathan and his partner came in second. And um, I think it was, I think it was 11 or 12 seconds um, for them, but they had never practiced before. Joel and my nephew had been practicing together all year because they, they were, um, they competed last year and they were determined they were going to be first this year and they did it um also nathan and joel um decided to do the knife throwing nathan took first place in knife throwing yeah. Yeah. and um <clears throat> that was awesome christopher turned 12 which is crazy um because that means just in a couple months he's gonna be 13, a teenager. Like, seriously, come on. Nathan turned 14 in 2017, which means he's gonna be 15 very, very soon. Just in a few weeks, he's gonna be 15. Mm. My baby. I mean, I met my husband when I was 15. So anyway, it's just crazy. So for spring break, we went to Virginia we did all sorts of things when we went there. We went to visit my family, but it's nice to go and do some things while we're there. And um, we went to the National Zoo in DC. That was really fun. Um, unfortunately, when we went though, um, the, a lot of the animals were like eating or like, you know, put away. It was like hot, I don't know. Um, but we didn't get to see a ton of the animals out. We did get to go in buildings, which smell, by the way. We went into a building to see the elephants, and that smell was awful. Um, we went to King's Dominion, which is a theme park close by in Northern Virginia. We actually got season's passes because we knew we were going to be coming back to Virginia before school started. We were going to try and come back in the summer because my husband didn't get to come with us. And uh, we like to make a trip with my husband as well. So we got season passes because um, the season's pass is cheaper than going twice to King's Dominion. So um, we did go like two or three times while we were there in, for spring break um, just to get our money out of it. Let's see, I did wine and design with my mom and my sisters and my cousins and my aunt. That was really neat. We just You just bring your own wine and you drink while they teach you how to paint a painting. And um, if I have a picture of that, I will show you. It's not my best work, <laughs> but it was fun. Um, then we also celebrated my mom's birthday while I was there. I don't get to usually see my family for their birthdays, but I did get to celebrate my mom's birthday with her while she was while I was up there. Um, we did an Easter egg hunt with my family um, during our family Easter dinner. So there was cousins and aunts and uncles that I haven't seen in a long time. Some of my cousins I hadn't seen in several years, um, but it was so much fun. We got to all sit together. We went to the clubhouse at my uh, parents, in my parents' neighborhood. We went to their clubhouse and rented that out. And then we had like our Easter lunch there with everyone and had all the kids did an Easter egg hunt. So that was really fun. Um, when we got back from Virginia for spring break, T-ball and baseball were going on and um, Gabriel was in T-ball. You guys, sit still, my gosh. Jeez. Oh, okay, um, so Gabriel was in T-ball. Joel and Nathan were on the varsity baseball team at their school. And Nathan was actually on two teams. He was on that team and then he was on like a local church team. Um, and Christopher was also on two teams. He was on two different church teams. And then Judah was on a team. There it is. Go Judah, go! So Joel played one team, Nathan played on two teams, Chris played on two teams, Judah played on a team, and Chris or, and Gabriel played on a team. And I will never do that again. 
I don't know what I was thinking when I okayed this. I mean, they had a blast and I love watching them play baseball, but um, that was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So not only games, but practices and everything that goes with it. So um, we, oh, Gabriel, he graduated preschool. It was a part-time preschool, so he only went three hours a day. He graduated preschool my baby so um then after that judah had plastic surgery um for those of you who don't know when judah was four he fell off the top bunk bed and he face planted right on our hardwood floor his um teeth and if you get a little queasy you can just fast forward this part but um his teeth cut the inside of his lip where it was, I don't know if you would call it filleted or butterflied open. And so, um, like he was crying, like he had his mouth wide open crying and the under part of his lip was touching the bottom lip. It was just like hanging. Um, thankfully it didn't like go through, but they, sewed it up they said it was gonna look as good as new like nothing ever happened well it didn't um something that they did not do right um after going to other doctors and things but we couldn't get anybody to just fix it and um we went round and round about it for years literally um because he just turned 10 and this happened when he was four so he, i mean he was very self-conscious about it he was very shy and didn't want to talk to people um he was just because when he talked it's this part of his lip kind of drooped down and it wasn't like the whole lip drooped it was just so like swollen it was like a lot of hard scar tissue and it drooped down here so when he talked a lot of times his upper lip touched his lower lip so um we were going from place to place some you know they were saying you know we're they're not going to fix it. Insurance won't cover it. It's not affecting his quality of life. I wouldn't worry about it. Well, my mother-in-law works at a hospital in Alabama and she said she knew a plastic surgeon. He, sur surgeon. he was very nice and, um, and asked me to just consider taking him there and letting him look at it. I'm like, absolutely. So that's what we did. We um, did a consultation with him and he's like, it is absolutely affecting his quality of life. If he's not comfortable talking to people because of this and he's not forming words properly because of this, it's absolutely affecting his quality of life. So that was it. We just, um, you know, several weeks later we went in. I mean, the procedure ended up taking maybe 15 minutes after they put him under. And um, it looks as good as new. He is a totally different kid when it comes to meeting new people, talking to his friends, if he has to ask a question in class, if he has to read something, anything where he's conscious of people looking at him, he is a totally different kid. And it, it was so worth going and getting that done for him. So, so excited for Judah that he got that plastic surgery done. Then, um, it was only weeks later, he got to go to the Field of Dreams. We went to a local baseball stadium with minor league players, and um, he went with his school, um, the baseball team, and there's several baseball teams that went in together from the school, and um, what they do is, um, they give the kids a shirt, they get to stand there and they get to like slap hands with all the players as they are, um, as they're coming out to the field and the players will sign their t-shirts and stuff like that. So it's really exciting. They get to meet those players. And then when they're, when they announce the players before the, um, national anthem, then they introduce the players and the players go to their part of the field, the starting players do. Well, in the field of dreams, the kids get to go with them. So Judah was a left fielder a lot of times. And so when they called out the left field minor league player, Judah and his friend got to run out on the left field with them. So they stood in the position with them and they sang the national anthem. 
then they ran in and it was just really neat. I just, I love all these memories. I get like teared up sometimes just even thinking about it. I just know it was just such an amazing experience for him and I just love that he got to experience that. Um, let's see what else happened. Um, Joel <laughs> turned 16. Guys, I have a 16 year old. Now he doesn't have his license yet and that's not his fault, it's ours. But um, 16, I cannot believe I have a 16 year old. I mean, what the heck? So Joel turned 16, we bought a house. It is our very first, our very own home that we bought. We had been looking since January or February for a home and we did not want to spend a lot of money. The realtor that we originally had um, would not show us anything for the price that we wanted. Um, so she just kept going higher and higher with the price till she was only showing us houses that were a hundred thousand dollars more than what we asked to look at. So um, then we were like, you know what, this is not working because we even put an offer in on a house and she had, we said, we want to offer this much. And she's like, well, they're not going to take that. I'm not going to put that down. We'll put this. And was not even letting us offer what we wanted to on it. So we said goodbye to her and found this um, other realtor. We actually have known him for a little while. He used to work with my husband and then got into real estate. This was like the second house he showed us. He had sent us some stuff and we're like, we wanna go see that house. And so it was literally the second house he showed us and I was like, that's what I want. And Matt was like, yeah, I really like that too. So it was, the price was right, the size was right, the yard was right. So I just, I just think it was God. It was just the timing was right. So um, at the end of July, we closed on our very first house. So then in August, we took a trip to Virginia again to see my family. Matt got to go with us this time. We went to Kings Dominion some more. We celebrated some more family birthdays um, that we don't get to do very often. We got to celebrate um, my nephew's birthday and um, one of my sister's birthdays and then one of my niece's birthdays. So we got to celebrate three birthdays while we were there, which was really fun and exciting. And then my mom came back down with us and visited for a little bit and that was so much fun. I always love when she gets to come down. I get so sad because my dad, um, he doesn't get to come down very often, um, but she did get to come down and that was awesome. Um, we also enjoyed going to our nephew's soccer games. Um, that was a lot of fun and we got to see some, some friends that we don't get to see very often anymore because my boys switched schools this this past fall they switched schools so um, we don't get to see that that family that we love so much um, our other school family um, we don't get to see them as much anymore so um, that was a lot of fun and seeing my nephews play soccer um, then this fall all five of my boys are in school they um, every single one of them I didn't it, it just happened way too quickly um, if you hear, if you hear chomping back there, I've got Judah and Gabriel eating the rest of their snack. I picked them up and now I'm in the second parent pickup line at the other campus to get my older boys. So, um, all five in school, it's just, it's crazy. And I thought I'd have more time to get things done and I don't. And I've heard that forever, but I, I thought I would, I feel like I had I don't know if more time would be the right thing to say. It's okay. So I don't think that more time would be the right thing to say, but I managed my time better when they were little. Um, and I just, I attribute it to the fact that um, we were on such a schedule when they were little, whether it was, you know, I mean, they, they ate, they got up at a certain time and just on their own, um, they ate, breakfast at a certain time they took a morning nap at a certain time depending on how old they were uh, they ate lunch at a certain time and then their afternoon nap it was just like bam 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 I think I just had like a better routine down 
and that's something that I need to implement more in our lives is more routine daily routine is uh, something that we really need to implement but all five in school it's crazy um, then Gabriel turned six years old didn't you turn six years old Gabe yeah yeah Gabriel turned six years old in September how crazy is that he's getting so old <laughs> and then three days later Judah turned 10 10 years old two whole hands no you didn't mm. so Judah turned 10 years old this September his birthday is three days before his birthday so um uh, another thing, um, football. Nathan played freshman football this year. We had a blast going to his games. It was so much fun. I just love watching my kids play sports. <laughs> and um, so Nathan played freshman football. Um, our niece was born on my husband's side of the family. This is the first girl born in 76 years. Not even kidding, 76 years. Um, but my niece was born. It was really exciting. It was a wonderful day and we got to go and see her. She was so tiny. And so um, we've just been having a lot of fun with her. Um, us, uh, my husband and my boys and I, we went for just a quick trip to Lake Blackshear at a lake house and we got to hang out and spend some time together. It was so frigid cold that day that, or that, you know, those couple of days that we went. So we didn't get to like swim in the lake or anything, but Joel did try and do some fishing. But it's just a really pretty lake and a really pretty area in Georgia, Lake Blackshear. Y'all should check it out sometime. So then um, we went to the pumpkin patch. And we yeah, went to the corn maze. Fun. It was fun. We went to the pumpkin patch and the corn maze. And one thing I love about the place we do the pumpkin patch, it's not very expensive, especially when I hear other places charging like 20 bucks a person and then you have to pay for pumpkins per pound. Um, I think that's how it is up near my family. But we pay $10 a person. You get all of the activities included, even the hayride and the corn maze. It includes a pumpkin as well. And, and there's a corn box. Yes, there's a corn box um, with like little corn pieces, um, kind of like, like a sandbox. And then, um, zip but, line. Yeah, it has a zip line, and then you can also get free boiled peanuts. And for and those, a little playground. Yes, and for those of you up north, um, you've got to try about boiled peanuts if you haven't before. I know it's a southern thing, but you've got to try it. So we did that, we had harvest day. The boys did a harvest day for school. It was this big, huge you know, fall festival that the school put on. And um, Joel and my nephew were rodeo clowns and uh, they did a great job. It was quite funny. So um, Joel and my nephew were rodeo clowns. Nathan was in a skit and so was Christopher. So, um, and Judah and Gabriel, they just went around to, to the different activities with their classmates. Um, then, Right after Christmas, my mom and my sister and her two kids surprised us with coming down to see me and see me and my family, of course. And I was actually at work and she called me, my sister did, and said, hey, what are you doing? And I said, I'm working, what are you doing? And she's like, we're on our way to your house. I'm like, shut up. And she's like, no, I'm serious. Oh, I was so excited. So um, I got to spend like three or four days with my mom and my sister and their two kids. They had a great time. Uh, my kids had a great time with her kids. So um, we did that and then we shared some Christmas gifts with each other. And then my mom took the Christmas gifts we bought for my side of the family. She took those up to deliver them. So she was our little Santa Claus. We spent New Year's Eve at home. It was just um, Matt and I and the five kids. We played a game of life and we um, drank some um, we drank some sparkling cider and sparkling grape juice. 
and um, we just had a great time together and then after we rang in the new year we went downstairs and we played ping pong and air hockey and I uh, just stayed up probably till about 3 o'clock in the morning and then we went to bed so that was fun but I did want to share with you guys the next few videos are gonna be um, are how we celebrated Christmas um, putting up the Christmas tree is gonna be one of them and uh, there's a day in the life and um, and there's also like a Christmas day I was gonna share Christmas day with you guys so even though it's after the new year um, as I was about to take down our Christmas decorations I was like I really want to share you know how we celebrated Christmas so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that I'm so I'm sharing with you guys how I celebrated Christmas even though it's the new year so I hope you all enjoy it just keep a lookout for that um, in the next couple of days I'll have some of those videos out I just hope you all have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching Subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet so you don't miss any of the content that I have coming up. And please like this video and share it with your friends. Bye, guys.